Hello everyone, welcome to your History 20 course. In today's unit, we'll be focusing on national sovereignty and collective security, with more specifically World War II and Germany's involvement in the role in anti-Semitic actions taken towards uh, prisoners of war in World War II. Before exploring this sensitive topic, I wanna to make it known to all students that I am an advocate for all children, that my door is always open outside and inside of the classroom. I also want to say that if students are feeling uneasy with today's lesson, please feel free to stand at the back of the classroom if you need, or there's room to stretch outside the classroom and I can let you in whenever you are feeling ready to return. Uh, feelings of uneasiness are bound to show up so with this type of a topic, so please try and find something that makes you feel comfortable. And please remember that even though the Holocaust was a true event that affected history, we can learn from the mistakes to ensure that we are all living a happy and healthy life to ensure that this does not happen again. So the Holocaust of World War II was a systematic proposition of the murder of approximately 6 million European Jews with and at least 5 million Soviet prisoners of war, Romanian, Jehovah's Witness, homosexuals and other victims organized by the Nazi Socialist Party and its collaborators from 1933 to 1945. Following its humiliating defeat in the First World War, 1914 to 1918, Germany suffered an economic and political collapse. Um, this instability facilitated the Nazis' rise to power in 1933 as they believed that they were a superior Aryan race over the rest of the world. And between 1933 and 1945, Nazi Germany established over 20,000 camps and subcamps that were used to imprison enemies of the states. Um, for this, we will be sp specifically focusing on the Jewish geno genocide in the Holocaust, and we'll be exploring this um, from an ally's point of view rather than an access to get more of the Canadian and North American point of view of how the Holocaust was due. 